Here is question number 25. Consider the given word equation. In this word equation, first it's written A copper sulfate. It means A is the coefficient there and copper sulfate you are taking. I am continuously writing here the formula of these species, CuSO4. Reacting with potassium iodide, what is that? That is Ki. Now, they are just forming cuprous iodide, that is Cu2 I2. Further, potassium sulfate, that is K2SO4 and further iodine gas that is released. So, this is basically the equation that is here. These two reacts to give you these three species. Now, we need to just balance it. If you balance it, you will find that here is Cu2I2. So, I need to just mark 2 here further. If I talk about iodine, 2I2 and I2 is here also. So, 4Ki I will mark further. Here, I need to mark 2 also. So, this is the balanced chemical equation. Now, on the basis of that, you need to just identify these coefficients as per the question and we have already identified. In this case, A is 2, you can clearly see B is 4, D is 2. So, where is D? D is here, this is 2 also and E is 1. It means on the basis of this, we can easily choose option 1 as my correct answer that I am just writing here. I hope it is clear, very simple question just based on balancing. Let us take question number 26. Consider the following statements. Have a look on the statements given here and on the basis of this, you need to choose the correct option. Basically, you need to identify whether these statements are correct or not. Statement 1. Litmus solution is a purple dye which is extracted from lichen. If I talk about litmus solution, yes, it is a purple color dye and it is also extracted from lichen. That is symbiotic relation between algae and fungus. So, this is correct. Further, statement 2 if I talk about. Turmeric paste turns reddish brown when soap solution is added to it. If I talk about turmeric paste, that is a natural indicator and if you add it in the soap solution that is alkaline in nature, basic in nature. In that case, definitely there is a formation of reddish brown color. On the basis of this, you can say this statement is also correct. Now, both the statements are correct. It means we can easily choose option 3 as the correct answer for this question. Here is a turn for the next question and next question is Question number 27. Question states, consider the following box. We have three sets given here, A, B, C and each of these sets certain salts are present. Like in set A, you have sodium chloride, sodium hydrogen carbonate, potassium nitrate. Similarly, in set B, calcium nitrate, sodium hydrogen carbonate and ammonium chloride is there. Set C consists of zinc sulfate, aluminium chloride and potassium sulfate. What we need to do? Have a look. Now, choose the correct statement about these A, B, C basically. Aqueous solution of any two salts of set A turn red litmus blue. What does it mean? It means we need to consider aqueous solution of these salts which are present in set A whether these are able to turn red litmus blue or not. Which type of salts are able to convert red litmus in blue? when these are in aqua solution, if the salt solution is basic, then only red litmus will turn into blue. So, we need to just identify the salts present in the set A. Two salts should be basic salts. If I talk about NaCl, this NaCl is neutral salt. If I talk about sodium hydrogen carbonate, this is a basic salt because it is a salt of sodium hydroxide and carbonic acid. Next is potassium nitrate. It is also neutral salt. The salt of potassium hydroxide and HNO3 both are the strong acid and the base. In this case, if I talk about the first option, that state there should be two salts which should be able to convert the color of red litmus solution into blue. But it is not happening here. 
we have only one basic salt here that's why the first statement that's given here is incorrect now let's check the next one c all the salts of set b have ph value more than 7 which type of salts have ph value more than 7 basic salts it means we have to just confirm that in set b whether all the salts are basic in nature or not so let's consider set b calcium nitrate this is the salt of calcium hydroxide and hno3 strong acid and strong base and on that case there is the neutral salt which is prepared similarly nahco3 that is a basic salt and ammonium chloride that is acidic salt so this statement is also incorrect then aqueous solution of at least any one salt of set c turns blue litmus red it means acidic salt it should be at least one salt should be there that is acidic in nature that is able to convert the solution of blue litmus into red now let's check if i talk about set c zinc sulfate is there this is the salt of strong acid h2so4 and a weak base zinc hydroxide so this is able to do so aluminium chloride if i talk about in this case we have aluminium hydroxide a weak base and hcl strong acid similarly k2so4 if i talk about that's a neutral salt it means at least one salt is there which is able to convert blue litmus solution into red that's why this is the correct statement fourth one all the salts of set a are neutral in nature we already identified that all the salts are not neutral in nature sodium hydrogen carbonate is basic in nature that's why this is also incorrect so after analyzing this much we can simply say for this particular question the correct answer is option 3 i hope this question is also clear to you now the turn is there for the next question that's question number 28